Well, Boise State's cybersecurity program is rolling out new resources soon, all thanks to an economic development grant from the Idaho National Lab. So our Natasha Williams, she joins us now. And Natasha, how is this grant going to help Idaho's rural areas? Kristen, good morning. Well, we did see it during 2020 and 2021, right? Cyber attacks, they're becoming more common, especially as the world we live in becomes more digital. But experts say rural areas can be especially vulnerable. Part of the challenge that they have is that they have this, these, uh, da this data and this infrastructure, but being able to engage and, and work with a uh, cyber uh, cybersecurity expert or and or cybersecurity career professionals can oftentimes be really difficult and economically challenging. This grant is working to change that by utilizing resources close to home. IML has a tremendous program in, in the area of cybersecurity research. The Idaho National Laboratory, or INL, is surrounded by rural communities. When this project from Boise State came along, we just knew that it was a perfect opportunity for, for us to share some of the benefits of our research with the community. Through the grant, Boise State students will be paired with an experienced mentor and will go out and experience the environments they may may be working in as a cybersecurity professional in Idaho. And in doing so, give back to the rural communities the opportunity for uh, a, a set of eyes, you know, an independent set of eyes to come in and look and experience the environment, uh, provide some guidance and feedback that's pragmatic. Different communities have different needs, so part of the students' goals will be to create a unique plan build up a, a plan and a set of guidance and recommendations that are appropriate and right sized uh, for for the environment and for um, for the community itself. Organizers say it's a benefit not just to the rural communities, but also to the students. We're able to again engage students, give them real world competency development. Uh, we're able to engage with our rural communities and provide them something of value. Boise State has already started work advising some rural communities here in Idaho. For example, the city of Arco. They say they plan to reapply for this same grant and continue that work next year. From Boise State, I'm Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.